and then Jason Alexander for Nikki Steele was like such a pipe dream in terms of like this is this is a character who's in throughout the whole movie, but is kind of this like mythical character that the character Luke ends up getting to meet and has this amazing epic scene towards the end of the movie. And, you know, we had had him on our list of actors and 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 even our executive producer was looking at the list because he was at the top. Yeah. Jason Alexander was. And, he, you know, he our executive producer had put perfect next to him, but impossible. There's no way he's going to do this movie. <laughs> and, you know, it was a certain point once we started filming the movie, Krista, my wife and I were rewatching Seinfeld. And I was like, man, George Costanza would be a perfect Nikki Steele. We should just try it. And so we found out that um, we had a connection to his agent and Luke called and said, look, you know, the movie, uh, you know, what we're working with. It's not a lot. Do you think this is a waste of time if we try to offer Jason the role? And his agent said, uh, Jason only does what he loves and he reads quickly. So you're not going to waste time. You might as well send it to him. And three days later, we get an email saying he wants to do the movie. Oh, and that awesome. was like how quick that happened. <laughs> it was crazy. And and I just like I literally was looking at my phone. I'm like, Jason Alexander is going to do this movie. How is this happening? <laughs> yeah, <that's great. laughs> he was he was the nicest person I've ever worked with, especially at that like level of an actor. I yeah. fully expected him to be what you know, whatever these actors are supposed to be diva or difficult or, you know, just showing up to do the thing. And he wasn't. He was like he brought his own toupee. He like, he weren't, he like, we had him do a couple yo-yo tricks, which he like was willing to mess around with us. He, I mean, he hung out with us the whole day and he was so generous, so much fun to work with. It was like one of my best days I've ever had on set. It was incredible. The Gentleman's Golf Law podcast is a general men's interest comedy show for the rebel and the Renaissance man. If you liked this clip, be sure to check out our full length audio and video episodes over at Gentleman's Golf Law You can also find us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcatcher.